hey no grief for anybody 2024 do not grieve for anybody at all 2024 lawyer edition so you are very welcome to my channel thank you so much for clicking i really appreciate it let's go straight to the point about what we are going to do this year because even though we have entered 2024 and our general theme for 2024 is we will not agree for anybody we will not allow ourselves to be taken advantage of we will not allow things that we normally allow to slide to slide this time around and that's a very very good thing i hope that all nigerians are going to be able to galvanize themselves around this thing not just comedy not for social media crews but more importantly for nation building for building our finances for getting out of debt for growing wealth and you know laying the foundations for a very solid nigeria thank you so much for clicking for today's vlog you are welcome to my channel so let us see the things that we are not going to agree this time around on 2024 okay some of the things that we've allowed to slide that we should not allow to slide number one i'm even holding my phone so you see i actually wrote them down number one do not allow anybody to trample upon your rights and yes i realize that a lot of people don't really know much about what our rights are as a people you understand some of us know about the rights to vote we know about the rights maybe to freedom of hearing freedom of speech and all but we don't really know what rights are okay so if you have any problem with understanding what your rights are just tell me in the comment section i hope that within this year i'm going to start a know your rights section and we're going to do it at the end of every quarter i will come online you will ask me any question whatever it is i will come live okay you will not allow yourself to you will not allow anybody to trample upon your rights anything at all that anybody does that is against nigerian law feel free since we have said that 2024 is our year where we will not grieve for anybody it means we will not agree for our rights to be trampled upon by anybody by the police by government officials by law enforcement or by even a fellow citizen of yours we have said it this year that what we no go agree which other way that we are not going to agree again number two we are not going to agree to be scammed of our hard-earned finances whether it is from ponzi schemes or from people who are um, loan sharks posing to be whatever it is okay we promise that this 2024 we know we'll agree we will always consult lawyers and financial experts before we invest in any form we will do our due diligence i hope we agree with me at least those of you who are listening to me we will always do our diligence we are going to be very wary of anybody who comes to us with any investment plan whatsoever bring 2000 naira within the next 10 weeks or within a week or two you get 2 million naira that one is a scam okay so we promise that we will always do our due diligence we will always ask for the right documents before we engage in any investment if it is too good to be true then it is actually in fact too good to be true we understand that money does not come is not something that grows on trees we understand that a fool and his money are soon parted so therefore we promise that we're always going to do our due diligence we will not pass with money until we are very sure we are willing to work hard for our money we are also pro willing to fight for the money that we have legitimately worked for we promise that we're not going to steal what is not ours okay so that is it then number three we not go grieve for anybody therefore it means that when you see something say something it means that for once in this country we have decided that we are going to take matters into our own hands okay so if you see anybody doing something that is not right don't sit around saying eh na nigeria we day after all this is nigeria no this is not nigeria nigeria is a very beautiful country it is what we make of it nigeria is largely the way it has been because of the conduct of nigerians not because there's anybody causing nigeria or because there's any ancestral cause or because of anything but largely because of the conduct of nigerians from the leadership down to the followership at this point there's somebody i would like to comment which is this young guy that did this investigative journalism job and went and found out about the degree racketeering that has been happening yes you see someone like that he saw something he went and investigated and he talked about it today in the very least if not anything we are now aware that there are people who are carrying certificates in nigeria that they got in six weeks okay that was a rev revolutionary act of patriotism if you ask me and i really think that if there's anybody that is deserving of a national award it should be him and yes i am glad also that the government has made the first move 
but that's just the first move i think that they need to do a lot more investigation okay to find out how is it that people are able to come with all these substandard degrees all these papers that are not even worth the ink and then they enter our civil service they enter into our workforces they enter into our human resource and pollute it the government has a responsibility to be able to weed out all these people all these undesirable elements and they should not be welcome at all in nigeria so if you see somebody like that say something if you see somebody trying to traffic a human being say something if you see somebody stealing say something for once if you are listening to me and you're a nigerian please 2024 see something and say something stand up for your country okay if you see any act of corruption anything at all you have a responsibility to say no i know agree 2024 we know they agree therefore you have to bear the consequences of your actions this is 2024 and in 2024 everybody reaps what he sows okay now what again number one two three four number four in our we know go agree for this 2024 is what we promise that we are going to be obedient to the rule of law we promise to be law-abiding citizens. We promise that we're going to do the right thing at the right time. We know that sometimes it may cost us something because we're doing the right thing, but we've promised that we're going to do what we can to make Nigeria a more lawful country to live in. Therefore, we promise that we're going to be obedient to the law. If there's anything that you want to do and you don't really understand how you should make the move, we promise that we're going to consult lawyers. And if it happens that there's anything at all that you need legal advice on always feel free to contact even if it is me lawyer should be our best friend in this 2024 lastly number five this one does not have anything to do with law but it's a personal favorite of mine it's one of the new year resolutions i made to be kind to the environment you see this our environment in nigeria it gives us everything we need it gives us the air we breathe it gives us uh, land so that we can cultivate our food everything that we need we get from the land so let us be kind to the environment let us be kind to trees and i think that my dad is one of my favorite human beings in the world my dad used to tell me when i was a child that a righteous man is kind to animal it's a sign of righteousness it's a point out towards how good you are if you can be kind to your environment if you can be kind to animals so let's be kinder to our environment. Let's understand that even the animals in the bush, even the chickens and whatever it is, the wildlife, for example, they have a right to, to live and that we are interdependent on each other. Okay, We need them as much as they need us. The other time I was doing this studying about all these Iroko trees and they told me that there are some very, very serious timber trees that they cannot reproduce themselves because they need gorillas. And now there are no gorillas. We're wondering how come there's no mahogany in our bushes anymore. And it's because we did not allow gorillas. That according to the um, study, there are some plants that before they can replicate themselves, they need animals in the bush like gorillas and chimpanzees to eat their fruits. Then the seed is going to undergo some digestive processes in their system before it goes out through their anus and then it can germinate. So let's take, um, let's take it upon ourselves to be kinder to our environment. Okay, that is our 2024 theme for the year. We promise to be law-abiding citizens. We promise that we're going to always stand up for our country. We promise to do the right thing. We promise to be more diligent with our money. We promise to make the right investments with our money. We promise that we're going to always be willing to face up and live with the consequences of our actions. If we see something, we will always say something. I hope this is the aim and objective for everybody that is listening to me. Thank you so much for listening to me. And those of you who are outside of Nigeria, who are not Nigerians, that are dragging Nigeria because Nigeria's government said that they are banning degrees from Uganda and Kenya. We are very sorry, but we have some inside work to do today. Okay? That is why it's not as if there's any animosity between Nigeria and Kenya or Uganda or wherever it is for that matter. But if you ask me, I would tell you that if those countries know that there is something like that coming, just because maybe you are making a profit from it. For me, I think Nigeria should treat it as an act of war, but that's not the reason why we're talking about this video. 
in this video thank you so much for listening to me if you have not yet subscribed to my channel why not do consider joining the channel as well that will really help me with the expenses that i need sometimes to do researching and code so that i can give us better quality content i really appreciate it if you are not yet a subscriber subscribe to the channel like this video as well because that's going to help us with the algorithm because everybody in nigeria needs to know about our 2024 team okay i will see you all in my next video have a nice evening Bye-bye.